Welcome to my adventure of Fanime 2023. Last time when I talked about the halls, I did an individual video for each hall. There isn't anything really new to add, so if you want to know about each individual hall, you can check out my past videos. But this time around, I'm just going to combine everything into one single video. I'll start with the swap meet, which is actually an area I didn't get a chance to cover last time. As the name suggests, it's individuals coming to sell off their older or used products. It's a pretty straightforward concept. Each seller gets their designated spot. Some people have a little bit more experience with this and have a more elaborate display. But for the most part, it's like going to a community garage sale or flea market. So I will show you some of the more interesting things that I saw and then we'll move on to the dealer's hall. <music> definitely a key feature of anime. The dealer's hall is basically the big brother of the swap meet. Here you can find brand new items, uh, all kinds of things. It's your main shopping area for collectibles and related items. That pretty much sums things up. Like I said previously I did a dedicated video to just the dealer's hall. I'll put a link in that in the description if you want to see more detailed information about the dealer's hall. But for now, I'll just show you some of the more interesting things that I saw. As with the dealer's hall, I have a previous video that goes into more details that I'll link in the, the description area. But to sum it up, it's where independent artists come to sell their wares. Here you're going to find more limited and one-off type products. These items are unique and not so mass produced. So once again, I'll just show you some of the more interesting things that I saw.
Next, we have the gaming hall. It seemed to recover the most post-pandemic compared to the other halls. Everything was just bigger and more. One thing that immediately caught my eye was that there were two stages, and even pre-pandemic, that hadn't been the case. And of course, on these stages, there's gaming going on for everybody to view and other just events that are taking place. Most areas expanded, especially the PC gaming area, but also the tabletop gaming area was bigger and more active along with the arcade area. If the main reason you come to Fanime is for the gaming aspect of it, this was definitely your year. As with the other halls, I have an individual video just for the gaming hall that I previously made. There'll be a link in the description area. But if you end up watching that one, just remember that this year was even bigger and more impressive. learning about the various halls of anime on this one video. I figured since I have past videos explaining all the individual halls and there really isn't much new information from year to year, that'd be easier just to condense it into one video. And if you are more interested in learning about an individual hall, you can look in the description area and I'll have links to those past videos. So until the next adventure, take care.